right hi everyone welcome back to another tutorial of salesforce makes sense in this video we are going to actually continue our lightning web components masterclass and in the lightning data service series we are going to just go ahead and start creating records we have looked at viewing records or loading records we have looked at editing records and now we are going to go ahead and create record all without a line of apex code all right so the leanest way to create a record using LDS is by using again lightning record form. So if you see this one base component has different flavors, different variants. It lets you view a record, it lets you edit a record, it also lets you create a record. How do you do that? We'll look at it right away. The only thing what you need to do is based on what you have learned, you don't have to just you know mention the record ID and that is how it will consider it to be a new record scenario. That's it, as simple as that. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'm on my VS code, I'll go ahead and create a new component, I'll say create a record, that's it. Eh? Alright, so if I go back, htm, uh, the JS file, this time I'll not put it in a record page because I want to create a new record, right? So if I want to create a new record, I don't need a record ID per se. So I'll keep it in the home page, okay? great and i'm going to go ahead and create a lightning card and that lightning card will basically say create a record without apex all right close the tag that's it i'll just go ahead and deploy this particular stub this is the code stub and then we'll start you know writing the lightning record form code here okay we are again going to create a case record here i'll not do accounts and contacts you can try it your own but let's do a case or like a task like that's better right so just we, we have some variance okay if i am here i'll just go ahead and say refresh i already have a component here i'll just remove this component from here and we'll go ahead and say edit page and i'll move this guys here move this guys here this is pretty much the list that we have been working on and I think I should see create a record. Yes, it's available here. Yeah. So this component is going to come here and this is where we will place it. It shows a fine with the text, which is fine for now. Let's go back. And now on the home page, we should start seeing our component. Cool. All right. Now, what do we have to do? We simply have to use lightning record form. So if I go ahead and say hover over the form, these are all the attributes in case you have to check and you know, see what do you need to put. Now we're not going to put the record ID. Why? Because we are creating a new record. That's why there's no record ID here. Okay. All you need to do is tell the system which record, which kind of record, first of all. So that's your object API name. Correct. That's what you need to tell it. The mode is going to be in edit, meaning you are supposed to, you know, modify the fields and which fields are you supposed to modify we are going to just map it with a set of fields all right great let's go ahead and close this tag and let's say save and let's go ahead and say deploy and let me do this let me remove the fields for now i'll say save let's deploy without the fields first of all okay deploy it fine refresh And you see, I see the save and cancel button. The fields are not listed, which is why it's not displaying any fields here. So we are going to go ahead and put the fields. That's the reason why you need the fields here. Okay. And I'll just create this fields in my JS file. So this is going to be case, uh, what do you call origin? First subject, then type. then reason and then origin yeah because case number is going to be auto generated so these four things and what about priority maybe add priority as well okay and let's add SLA as violation also which is a custom field save looks good let's go ahead and say deploy done let's go back refresh and now we should see the fields on the screen and this should allow us to create a record all right so if you see the component has loaded with a predefined layout with the fields that we have given and it has all the fields with the right amount of picklist values you don't have to query the picklist you don't have to you know get anything the default values is automatically set the values are coming in so i'll just go ahead and say uh, lds create one it's an electronic type 
for an equipment con complexity has come from my website priority is very high and there are no SLA violations I'll go ahead and say save that's it so I've saved it so you see this record has been saved and now it is available in the edit mode to view and actually you know look at make sense if you were to look at this record now and if you were to just you know do a global search you should see a case record with this particular name see 1027 this is the actual case record that has been created by just writing five or six lines of code that's it that's your case right there electronic web high status new equipment complexity and the subject is LDS create new SLA violation no all right cool great so this is how you are able to actually just very simply, very simply you are able to create a record without even having to write any line of code there. So what did you write? You just probably write, wrote one line here and one line here. That's it. And that helped you create a record in the database. So that's kind of the power of uh, Lightning Data Service. And uh, in the next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll not use a standard field setup like this. We'll create a custom layout like you know, because not every time business will be happy with this layout, right? They'll want to say that, you know, I want four fields here, then I want to create a section. So they more of more of like, you know, want something a bit more custom, a bit more controllable, a bit more, uh, you know, user friendly. So this might not work out, which is why we will look at another scenario wherein we'll use lightning input fields. That's right. We are going to use lightning input fields and we'll create a form out of it. The second variant. Cool. Great. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.